is Ebony Lewis and I am a 2022 Juanita J. Craft Artist Residency recipient. My work in general is just about um, everyday human, the human plight, right? Where there, there's always a, a um, there's a presence of good things and there's always a presence of negative things. So I think through our daily human interaction with not only with other people, but with ourselves, I feel like there's a constant war between the good and the bad, like which side should I actually listen to? And so this particular uh, body of work, I really wanna talk about just in general um, insecurities that I have as an artist. And, and it's a very vulnerable work that I think a lot of people can relate to. Um, and I hope to accomplish um, a lot of activity within the community, being able to actually get the voice of the people. And so sometimes we interpret the people's stories for them. And so I just wanna give them an opportunity to put their own stories out in their own words, whether that be through images or words. And so that's, that's my goal, to get the true story from the residents' mouth. So I've, I've challenged myself. And so um, there was a quote that I actually heard from a documentary that I was watching. And uh, the quote came from actually Kanye West's mom. And she said, uh, giants can't see themselves in the mirror. And so I feel like the South Dallas region or the South Dallas area essentially is that giant, right? But everybody always has a small, or a you know skewed version of what that that really looks like you know and so sometimes and, and even me as an artist it resonates with me because i've accomplished a lot of things you know in the short amount of time being a, being an artist here in the area but i don't always give myself credit you know i don't always see my giant within myself and i think that is just kind of reflective of the community as well like south dallas is a giant you know community but i think people always view like a small section of it and put that on the whole community and that's not the case. You know, an artist's job is to reflect the times and so um, I think everyone deals with not being able to see themselves for who they really are. You know, not be, being able to intrinsically look within themselves and see the good within themselves. And so um, we pay a lot of attention to the negative things and so uh, it absolutely speaks to the time. It speaks to the black community, it speaks to a plethora of things, but you know, I, again, I want to make sure that I focus on this community, and so, um, yeah, it definitely speaks to the times. Like it's growing, right? There, there are things that are changing drastically, and so um, you still have to have that connection to the past, to the history. We can't neglect and negate those things as well, because that makes the community what it is. And so, just being able to shine a more positive light on that is important to me. There are absolutely parts of my past that are that are in in the in this work uh, in this body of work. Again, just alluding to my own personal insecurities, not being able to feel sure within myself, and you know making myself small, <laughs> essentially. You know, which goes back to that quote: like, I'm tired of doing that. Right? I want to be able to see myself as a giant. So you know, I want to be able to see myself in the mirror. You know, a as this giant that I'm. I'm I'm working hard to to feel that way on the inside. And so even though people may see it, I have to be able to, in, to see it for myself. And that's what the work is about. I've discovered that I am quite the perfectionist. <laughs> and I didn't always think that, you know, I didn't always think that I, I essentially restrict myself by trying to make things so perfect. And so um, one of the things that I've discovered during this process uh, especially like working with kids in the community, is that um, I I want to remove the, the box of perfection from them. And so it's so easily for me to say, oh, it doesn't have to be perfect or, you know, oh, don't worry about how it looks. But then I take the art back home and I'm like, one line is off and I'm like, oh man, I gotta fix it, you know? And so being able to help them remove the idea of that, that things have to be perfect have essentially, um, I've discovered essentially within myself that I have this, this need to be perfect. And again, that goes back to the idea of wanting to fit in with everything and fit in this frame. And sometimes I just don't fit and that's okay. <laughs> My process, so what, essentially what I do is um, I go out into the community, I 
pick certain organizations that either I've worked with in the past or new organizations. I'm kind of open to either either one. Um, I like to involve children, um, but I also want to push myself. Hopefully I can get to work with the uh, elderly population in the South Dallas region too. Um, and what I do is I go in and we'll just have a general conversation. I start with allowing them to do contour drawings. And so a contour drawing is essentially just a drawing where they can't like pick up their pencil. And so again, getting rid of that perfection, like it has to look just like this. It look so I just tell them, hey, take your pencil or marker, put it on the paper, and I want you to draw yourself or draw an image. And so they'll draw the image and they have a hard time like not picking up their pencil, which is kind of cool to see them explore. Um, and so they'll draw like a self portrait or um, I'll have them, you know, write a story. Tell me something, you know, that you enjoy most about your neighborhood. Sometimes they'll write, sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll put one word. Um, and so I just have them put it on the paper, put everything you're thinking on paper. Um, and, and then I'll have them do, tell me uh, words of affirmation and then give me something negative that you wanna get rid of about yourself. And so they have both positive things and negative things which again, that's incorporated in my work anyway, the good and the bad, like I was alluding to early. And then um, I'll take their pieces, I'll collage it on a mini mural. So it's about, maybe about six to eight feet long and I'll collage those pieces. And then on top of that, I'll draw or paint a giant on top of that, that you can't fully see. So that's kind of like what the pieces are gonna be about. You guys are getting the inside scoop, okay? So that's cool, <laughs> that's cool. But um, essentially that's the process. So I'll take that, collage it, take it back to the studio, and then I'll paint the perfection part so I can just get that out the way. And that's how it goes. But then I'm drawing, I'm also drawing the giants out of proportion. I'm really pushing myself uh, because I'm used to things looking a particular way. And so I'm drawing things out of proportion, like really big hands or small elbows or, or certain parts of the figure that I know aren't correct on purpose. So I can push myself out of that perfectionist kind of mindset. In the summer, I had an opportunity to work with uh, the Larry Johnson uh, Rec Center, which is kind of not too far from this actual area. So I worked with a group of their kids all summer. So um, probably like every Saturday, in the summer for the month of July. So I got a chance to work with them and I'm hoping to get back in that space. Um, recently, I've worked with a group of kids, um, Frazier, they're called Frazier's Kids, which is an organization here. So I had a great opportunity to work with them. Good, cool group of kids. Like they're very explorative and um, I, I love it. And so I know there's also a daycare around this area that I was hoping or that they were talking about earlier that I wanna hope to connect with the small baby babies and you know get them to do go crazy on the on the canvas. And so those are those are a few things that I have. And then hopefully here, you know, at the South Dallas Cultural Center, I hope to uh, discover or uncover or get rid of rather <laughs> my my need to um, just be perfect. You know, I, I really wanna get rid of that because it restricts me as an artist. Um, and I'm hoping that by seeing people who aren't artists, right? Just create naturally and just without regard of how things look. Hopefully the expectation that I have for people who come and interact with me in any kind of way or form, I hope that they're able to leave the space with me and understand that um, you don't have to, one, you don't have to be perfect. <laughs> and two, I'm hoping that they understand that art is a tool, right? It, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't have to be a tool that is like perfect or perfected, but it is a tool to express themselves in a positive way, despite the outside influences, you know what I mean? And so that that's my true hope that they can take that tool and apply it outside. So instead of getting into mischief or thinking negative or whatever the case may be, they can use this small tool to express themselves in a positive way that's that's both beneficial to, could be potentially beneficial to the community as well as their social emotional needs as well. So that's my goal.